Hello, madam. It's the police. Please open the door. The raid takes place at dawn in the heart of Bordeaux in southwestern France. Ten officers search the apartment for stolen property and hit the jackpot. They find hundreds of bottles of fine wines, some worth more than 1,000 euros apiece. The homeowner presents receipts, but the police aren't convinced. That's a pretty big reduction from 1,000 euros to 350. Didn't that strike you as odd? The man is charged with fencing stolen goods. In France, more and more people store their wines in specially protected wine depots. Stéphane Leblond is one of them. He spent several hundred thousand euros on his wine collection and owns some unique vintages. So he doesn't dare keep them at home in his cellar. It's not that I'd live in constant fear of having my wine bottles stolen by some criminal, but the depot is very well protected. Maybe that's why I don't worry so much. His wine bottles are in good company. Restaurants and auction houses, as well as private individuals, store their precious vintages here. And they demand more than a simple alarm system to keep their wines safe. In addition to a round-the-clock video surveillance system, we have anti-intrusion systems and motion detectors. Then a second reinforced door. And it's behind this door that our clients' wines are kept. Some of the Grand Crus, the most prestigious ones, are worth around 10,000 euros. Renowned French delicatessen Ediard didn't take such precautions with its extensive wine collection. The store, a treasure trove for gourmets and wine enthusiasts from around the globe, was robbed earlier this year. Within minutes, thieves stole around 100 bottles of wine worth some 400,000 euros. Some are really rare, so rare they'd be hard to sell. They're not likely to be put on the market since they'd be discovered. Stolen wines occasionally turn up at Douau, one of the most famous auction houses in Paris. Alexandre de Cluyer sets the starting bids for wines and spirits here. He can only laugh at the ignorance of some thieves. One thief didn't know how to sell wines and tried to auction them off here. That was idiotic. Of course he was going to get caught. How else do they sell stolen wines? Via the Internet, as it's hard to catch them. Wine lovers who want to be sure they're not buying stolen goods frequent fine food emporiums like Le Grand. Their best vintage wines are kept in the cellar or on high shelves, making them difficult to pilfer. Staff here still keep a watchful eye, but say the real danger lies elsewhere. I'm more afraid of the wine transports and holdups happening as the wine is getting delivered than of a theft like what we saw at one of our competitors recently. These things do happen, but they're rare. Still, French wine merchants are taking no chances. With the holiday season fast approaching, few will be keeping their finest wines behind a simple cellar door.